Hello and welcome to Poker News. Labour Chancellor Gordon Brown, who recently released the most important annual tax budget of his career, has announced a fixed tax rate for gaming companies. A flat rate of 15% will now apply to all UK gambling companies as well as a rate increase in gaming duty for UK casinos. This announcement has come as a surprise to many as it's been predicted that the tax rate would be around 3% to try and entice offshore gaming companies to settle in the UK. Land-based casino operators will also see changes in their tax payments, the most controversial being a hike in the higher rate tax bracket, which now insists that casinos generating over £10 million will see an unwelcome tax jump of 10%, taking their overall contributions to around 50%. No wonder the government were so keen to have a new super casino. The Mansion Poker Dome Challenge celebrated its grand finale recently in a unique 43-week televised tournament where the series winner walked away with a cool $1 million. If you've not heard of the Poker Dome, it's a truly unique viewing experience. Players are enclosed in one-way glass, which means not only can they not hear any noise from the audience, they can't even see them watching. Furthermore, a lucky 200 audience members can be comfortably seated around a final table. Keeping a close eye on players is also made easy, as there are plenty of plasma screens showing the action. These screens also provide information on every player's hole cards, hands players have folded, and burnt flop cards. All players were also mic'd, enabling all conversations to be heard by the audience. And continuing with this Big Brother theme, all players' heart rates were also monitored and displayed for all to see. Scary. The lucky winner of the $1 million grand finale was Rodel Tuazen from Iowa, USA. And on his final table were two professionals, Dennis Waterman, who'd won $50,000 in a previous Poker Dome event, and Rob Sherwood from Manchester, here in the UK. Fancy traveling to Binion's birthplace of the legendary World Series in the gambling capital of Las Vegas? On the 7th of April, the Las Vegas Grand Prix poker event is taking place, and the buy-in is $10,000. And it's for a good cause, too. The prize pool will be split between the final seat players as well as a charity. Plus, there's a strong likelihood of seeing a few famous professional players. The new Gambling Act, which commences on the 1st of September, does not allow for dedicated poker card rooms. Poker News caught up with some players to find out how they feel about this. I think it's ridiculous because, you know, all these places are just uh, holding a, uh, you know, a nice social evening. People come, they play, they don't, there's nothing uh, untoward that they're doing. They just want to find a game. If not, they're not necessarily playing. They can't necessarily find a game necessarily with their mates and stuff like that. They want to come to a place where they can sit around a table and have a decent game of cards. And to illegalise that is just pathetic. I think it's sad. Of course, I would prefer to have more opportunities to play poker than less. It don't really bother me because I only play in casinos cards anyway or around friends' houses, cash games. So it makes no difference to me. Uh, I think it's only fair because they can't have two sets of laws, one for casinos and one for poker rooms. Uh, I think, uh, you know... Uh, if uh, some rooms want to be poker rooms, I suppose they have to get a casino license. Well, I mean, I come here to the sportsman quite a lot, and as long as this, this place stays here, then it, it won't affect me too much. I think it's a shame because um, there should be more card rooms in London, and um, a lot of because of the rise of poker over the past few years, you know, there'd be a lot of interest in people wanting to go and play in cash games or even tournaments or anything. So, I think it's a shame because they should they should definitely be doing something more to keep it going instead of cutting it back on it. I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't make any difference to me because only playing casinos and they're already licensed, aren't they? And finally, an internet hacker was caught red-handed last week when he or she attempted to steal large sums of money from poker pro Greg Raymer's web account. However, several eagle-eyed users alerted the security team at PokerStars.com after suspicions were aroused following unusual activity on the high-profile account. The unidentified hacker managed to guess Raymer's password through sheer persistence. Once inside his account, the hacker proceeded to dump large amounts of Raymer's winnings into an account by the name of Ikerson. The incident may have gone unnoticed if it weren't for the several Raymer fans that regularly watch his online play. Raymer later admitted that he hadn't chosen the strongest possible password and quickly changed it to something more secure. That's all from me. I'll see you next time.